Hi guys. What do we have today? We have predictions for 7 NBA games for December 17th. So, let's get started. Washington Wizards and Los Angeles Clippers. The Wizards are in terrible shape, having lost 9 of their previous 10 games, and they will aim to snap an 8-game losing run today. The Clippers have won 4 of their last 7 games and are in good shape. Since the return of Leonard and George to the team, they have been playing excellent basketball. This is the second game this season between these two teams. In the first game in Washington, the Clippers won. The Wizards have lost their last 8 straightaway games. They lost and failed to cover the spread in 5 straight games against the Clippers in Los Angeles. In games between those two teams in Los Angeles, the total has gone over in the last 9 straight games. Many names on the player injured list for both teams. Play Washington Wizards and Los Angeles Clippers over 220. Miami Heat and San Antonio Spurs. The Heat have been in good form lately, having won 8 of their previous 12 games overall, and they'll be going for a fourth consecutive win today. Before the Trail Blazers' upset victory in their most recent game, the Spurs were on a three-game winning run and played very convincingly. This is their second game of the season. The Spurs recently won in the first game between these two teams in Miami. The Heat have been playing well lately, especially in road games. In the last seven road games, the Heat have won five of them. Player injuries have been a concern for the Heat all season, and they will continue to do so in this game. They can only hope that today's game will feature at least the required number of healthy players. The Heat are undoubtedly the better team here, and under some other circumstances, they would be the clear favorite in this contest. However, with so many injured players, it is very challenging to back them here. Play San Antonio Spurs plus 7.5. Dallas Mavericks and Cleveland Cavaliers. This is a back-to-back -back matchup for both teams, with travel for the Mavericks. The Mavericks, who have won five of their previous eight games, have been in fine shape, and they will be aiming for their second consecutive victory tonight. The Cavaliers have been performing well, having won six of their previous nine games. This is the second meeting between those two teams this season. Recently in Dallas, the Cavaliers defeated the Mavericks. The Mavericks don't play that well in back-to-back -back games. They only won two of their last five back-to-back -back games this season, while the Cavaliers won three of their previous four back-to-back -back games. This season, the Cavaliers dominated home, where they have won 13 of their last 15 games, but in the last four meetings in Cleveland, between those two teams, the Mavericks covered the spread in all four. Here, I will take the guest team to cover the spread. Play Dallas Mavericks plus 5. Portland Trail Blazers and Houston Rockets. The Trail Blazers have won five of their previous seven games, showing their strong recent play. The Rockets have been playing well lately, winning four of their last seven games. It is their second match of the season. In Portland, the Trail Blazers won the first game. The Trail Blazers have been playing excellent basketball since Lillard made his comeback. This spot is their second game in a row, including travel. This season the Trail Blazers played five back-to-back -back games and won in three of them. The Rockets have been crushing games lately, and this is especially true of their home matches. In their last six home games, they have won in five. The Trail Blazers have been the most offensively efficient team over the past five games, averaging 123 points per 100 possessions while giving up 118.8. In the same time frame, the Rockets only averaged 110 points per every 100 possessions. In their last five meetings in Houston against the Rockets, the Trail Blazers have won three of those matches and covered the spread in four of those five matches. Play Portland Trail Blazers minus three. Utah Jazz and Milwaukee Bucks. The Jazz are in good form as they have won five of their previous eight games, and they will be looking for a third straight victory today. The Bucks have won eight of their last 11 games overall, and they were in excellent shape before they were destroyed and humiliated by the young Grizzlies team. The Jazz are a young team that was expected to be rebuilt this season. Even though they don't have a single star, they play outstanding basketball and present a genuine danger to every team in the league. They defeated the favored Pelicans twice in a row in their most recent two games. The Bucks play great basketball at home. Since the beginning of the season, they have won 13 out of 16 home matches. The Jays have only won one of their previous seven road games, but they have won six of their last eight games versus the Bucks in Milwaukee. Although indeed, the Bucks don't play as well in road games as they do at home, I wasn't satisfied with the way they played in what ended up being a humiliating defeat to the Grizzlies. I can't give the Bucks an edge in this situation even if I think they will win. Play Utah Jazz and Milwaukee Bucks in the 231.5. Memphis Grizzlies and Oklahoma City Thunder. The Grizzlies have been in excellent form, winning 9 of their previous 10 games overall, and they will be looking to extend their winning run to 7 games today. 
the Thunder are in a severe slump right now, having dropped 10 of their previous 14 games overall, and they'll be looking to halt a 5-game losing streak here. These two teams have played two times already this season. The Grizzlies won the previous two games, which were played in Memphis. This will be back-to-back -back games for the Thunder without travel. Playing on zero days rest, the Thunder lost all three games this season, and only one of those three back-to-back -back games saw them cover the spread. The Grizzlies' performance on the road isn't as good as it is at home. They won only two of their last six road games. As I've said, several times before, the Thunder often covers the spread even when they lose. They covered the spread in 11 of their 15 games during this month. They are playing against one of the top teams in the league, but I think they may pull a surprise here. Play Oklahoma City Thunder plus 7. New Orleans Pelicans and Phoenix Suns. The Pelicans are trying to end a two-game losing run here, and it appears that they have lost some fire after their seven-game winning streak. With six losses in their previous eight games, the Suns have been in awful shape. This will be the fourth game between these two teams this season. Currently, the Pelicans lead with two wins. Recently, the Pelicans enjoyed a great run of seven victories in a row. Since everyone was thrilled about that, nobody even paid attention to the fact that the majority of the games in the series were played at the home and that just two of them were played on the road, against the lowly Spurs. With two victories in a row, the Jazz showed that the Pelicans are not a very good road team. They won only in three of their last nine road games. The Suns have a lot of names on the player injured list. They have a lot of injured players, which can be a concern, but they are an outstanding home team. They have won eight of their past ten games at home. Head to head, the Pelicans are 2-5 ATS in the last seven meetings in Phoenix. Play Phoenix Suns minus three. Guys, that would be all. See you tomorrow.